Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So far, we have written so many script and we are executing that successfully and sometimes of course we are getting failure. But the problem is, whenever I'm trying to run any of the script, for example this import spec where we have this describe and before all and we are running some of the test script based on the input fields from our Let Code uh, edit page and it's going to execute fine but the problem here is when I try to execute this um, for example, here you can see that in the console log or in the terminal, we are not able to get any of the logs. Just it gives us dot if the spec is going to execute successfully. And if not, it's going to mark it as a red color, I think, right? So here you can see that we are able to get this three five dots. That means, of course, our five specs here. So it block is nothing but a spec, individual spec, nothing else. So here we can see that uh, we are able to run our five specs here successfully and here it's giving us five dots. But this is not sufficient because of course we want to know like what is the spec is running in the runtime and also how much time it took to execute each and every spec. So we can achieve that using this protector, not protector, it is from Jasmine. So Jasmine spec reporter, we can use that to get the real time logs like what is the spec is running and how much time it took to run a individual or a particular spec block. So in this video, we are going to learn how to generate the reports in the log. In the next video, we will see the same how to generate the reports using the HTML file. So first, I have just modified few things. So the specs uh, both are same, I mean different specs, that's not a problem. Here we have this report conf.js. So, so far we are using this run test plugin and here and we are using this protector.conf.js but just to segregate each and everything so that if you are new to the channel or if you are following along with me probably you will get a good idea so here i have created this report conf.js and within this we have to do some of the uh, configuration that is going to bring up the reports but before that of course we have to install the dependency so we'll just copy this and here i will paste it So after the installation, we have to do some changes. So if I go back to my config file, here I have to do some changes. And if you go to the documentation, here it's so here we are interested on this protected test. So I'm just going to open this link here. And here you can see that within the onPrepare functions, we have to declare this particular values. So I'm just going to copy this and after this capabilities or anywhere, the placement is not really a matter here. Just you have to make sure that we are able to add this jasmine.get environment and then add reporter. And within this, we are adding new spec reporter. That is what the dependency we added for. And after that, we are saying that display stack trace equal to true. That means if there is any failure, it is going to show up. Now let us try to run this first. Uh, not this one. So I'm just going to run this particular file. So I have to go to that folder first. So CD learn reporters. And after that, I have to say protector. Then followed by reports.config, right? So we are executing this config file that has this particular setup. Okay, so we got some error. Let us see what was that. Okay, it says that new spec reporters, uh, spec reporter is not defined because of course we have to import this spec reporter. So I can just uh, do that by simply using this import statement. So I'm just going to copy this and here I'm going to paste it. And then let us try to run this again. And it's of course it should work, no? Okay. Okay, again we got error um, because we didn't specify any of the spec file here. So I'm just going to copy this relative path and here I'm going to paste it. And of course, I have to change this slash to the forward slash. Now, if I try to run this, hopefully this time it should execute. Okay, so it says that uh, no spec found. Okay, so we are within the same folder. So I don't think we need to specify the folder name. Sorry for that. Let us try to run this again. Okay, so here you can see that we are able to get now like interact with the inputs 
so that's going to be my uh, spelling mistake just uh, leave that not a problem so i can just change it here and then this is our describe uh, this is our describe name and then after that we are getting all the like uh, this is my sysout statement i mean the console log statement that we are printing from this particular location i mean this particular line and of course we are now able to see like what is the spec it passed and what is the name of the spec but still we are not able to get any of the time so we are going to add some few of the configurations as well so i have already took this and here you can see that don't worry i will explain you this so i'm just going to cut this from here and instead of this i'm going to paste it over here right and let us uncomment and of course i have to specify within the on prepare so let us delete this and paste over here okay so the same thing we are using this jasmine.getenvironment.add reporter within this we are passing the spec reporter and other than that we are passing like what is the suite name so it is going to give the what is the suite number if you have multiple suite like multiple describe block that going to show us and then after the spec we are saying like if there is something pending so pending in the sense uh, if i make this particular as x so that's not going to execute right so that is what pending means and then we have this display duration so how much a single spec takes time to execute that is what the display duration gives us and then of course it's going to give us the summary like summary of success and summary of failed or the pending so let us try to execute this now and let us see how it's going to look like okay so here you can see that we are able to get incomplete one pending and if you go up here you can see that enter first name and last name and this took around 0 0.25 seconds and then append and tab and get the value and clear me so this much seconds and here we are getting this star that means this particular spec has been excluded right and then it says that pending and what is the temporary disabled with exit that is this particular um, spec and of course in the overall we are getting like how many specs we have got run and if there is any failure that is also going to give us and after that we are getting some overall result right so this looks very neat and clean but of course this is not we are not going to do anything with this particular uh, logs because when we are going to submit our report to the client or any product owner or anybody of course we have to send it in, in a visual format maybe in html or pdf something like that so in our next tutorial we will understand how to generate the report using allure report see you in the next one very soon